This access form shows multiple records where the active record is highlighted with a yellow background. To make this happen, we use conditional formatting, a control to keep track of the primary key, and a little VBA. Hi, this is Crystal. Even though this form has banded rows, where the background alternates between white and gray, it can still be easy to lose your place. The active record has a filled triangle in the record selector box, but the yellow highlight is more obvious and displays behind the entire record. This is done with conditional formatting. Go to the design view of the form. The control that changes color is an unbound text box called TXT Highlight. It is positioned behind all the other controls in the section. It is the height of the detail section and the width of the form. Its top and left properties are both zero, enabled is no, locked is yes, and tab stop is no. The controls on top of this have their back style set to transparent. Select the control or controls you want and choose Conditional Formatting from the Format Ribbon tab. When the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager dialog box appears, click the New Rule button. The New Formatting Rule dialog box opens. Under Format Only Cells Where The prompt, choose Expression Is and enter NZ open parenthesis, open square bracket, my primary key, close square bracket, comma, zero, close parenthesis, equal sign, open square bracket, current ID, close square bracket. NZ is null to zero, so if the primary key doesn't have a value, zero will be used. When the rule is true, the formatting you choose will be applied. You can set bold, italic, underline, text color, background color, and enabled. The preview window shows you what the control will look like. Right now, no format is set. Click the paint bucket icon that represents back color and choose yellow. The preview window is updated. Click OK to return to the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager, then OK again to dismiss the dialog box and return to the form design. The control that contains Address ID is named My Primary Key. An expression for a conditional formatting rule can refer to control names as well as field names. A primary key has a unique value on each record. In this case, the primary key is a sequential auto number. Auto numbers are automatically assigned numeric values. When new values are set to increment as opposed to random, the starting value will be 1, and each new record attempt is incremented by 1. The reason 0 is assigned to current ID if the record doesn't have a value is for new records because they won't yet have an auto number. Current ID is an unbound control whose value is set by code. The form current event happens each time the record changes. To define form events, select the form by clicking in the upper left where the rulers intersect. On the property sheet, you see event procedure if there is VBA code. In the current event, I click the builder button or press Ctrl F2 to go to the code. The current ID will be the value of the primary key. If it doesn't yet have a value, zero will be assigned. If the text highlight control gets the focus, it will come to the front and cover everything. That is why there is a Got Focus event to make another control active. We could stop right here. This works to show us the current record with the yellow highlight as long as that record is already created. 
Let's take this a step further, though, and see how to keep the yellow highlight even when creating a new record. Since the data is in access, the auto number value is created before the record is saved. If the back end is SQL Server or another system, auto number values may not be assigned until after the record is saved, so this new record code would not necessarily be needed. On a new record, the conditional formatting fails once the auto number is assigned without a little more help using VBA. If you try to add other data before choosing a contact, a message box pops up telling you to pick a contact first. After the contact is updated, current ID can be assigned because the auto number will be available. This means current ID also has to change so the highlight stays on the new record you are creating. Let's take a look at the code to make that work. The before update event of a control happens before the value is committed. In this case, we want to make sure a contact is actually chosen. If there is no value for contact, the user gets a message and the list drops. The before update event is also cancelled. Once a contact is specified, the after update event happens. If the user is not on a new record, the auto number is already known, so code exits. Otherwise, current ID is updated to reflect the new auto number value. So that we don't have to trap every control, we can use the dirty event to make sure that contact is filled first. The dirty event happens when the record begins getting changed. If the user is not on a new record, nothing happens. If the current ID is zero and the active control is not CID, which is the contact ID, adding a new record is canceled. Focus is set to CID, the user gets a message to pick a contact first, and the list is dropped. Unrelated to conditional formatting is setting the date time a record was edited. This table has two tracking fields. One is the date time a record is created. In the table design, it has a default value of now and will automatically get filled when a new record row appears. Just before a record is saved, the date time is assigned to DTM Edit using the form before update event. Also unrelated to highlighting and conditional formatting is just something to make it nicer when you're entering data. In Access, you have to specifically click on the drop down arrow of a combo box to drop the list. This function drops the list if there is no value if you click anywhere in the control or tab into it. It is good to keep everything in VBA, but for combo boxes, I make an exception and like to assign drop me if null directly on the property sheet. In this lesson, you learned how to use conditional formatting to highlight the current record to make it stand out more. Thanks for watching. Through sharing, we will all get better.